comfy. Right, welcome back, second video. It's all about my leg training. So, pretty basic, it's just legs, legs, legs. I'm gonna give you tips, uh, what I do, why I do it, basic stuff like that. So, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for the support in the last video. It was my first proper video where I spoke to the camera. I got a shit ton of good feedback. So, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna release like one, one video a week. Just start off, nothing major. Run me through my training, and I'm going to do a full day of eating next week. So that's something I look forward to. I was meant to do that this week, but lack of time. And also thought this video needs a full video by itself. The leg training needs a video by itself. So I'm doing that and leaving the full day of eating until next week. Um, a quick run through on my leg training. I've stopped doing back squats. I don't feel them at all on my legs. Maybe after, but I have to do maybe fucking 15, 20, 20 reps before I feel the pump in my quads, which is ridiculous. Whereas I've swapped it out for hack squat. Hack squats are much better movement. I feel like 10 times more. I'm part of the people who say you don't need to squat to grow legs. You don't need it. You don't. People will vouch that. People will do this, do that. Because, I mean, you can build amazing legs from squatting, but we're bodybuilding. We're not powerlifters. We don't need to do day sets and reps on that movement. I prefer to do a movement where I actually feel it. So yeah, um, hack squat, RDLs, leg press, leg hamstring curls, quad extensions and calves. Basically. Right, how's it going guys? Um, quick run through my leg day. It's going to be, so this is starting off with hack squat, but I'll also start with a quick warm up, warming up my knees, hips, ankles, stuff like that. Injury prevention, injury is better than a cure. You don't want to get injured, especially on legs. Right, starting off with just one plate on each side of the hack squat and we slow increase weight. So it's going to be, we do two top sets, no, sorry, one top set and two back off sets. So this is the heavy set. This is six plates, so three plates a side. Can't remember how many I got. I think I was aiming for six to eight. And I'm pretty sure I achieved that. This felt heavy as fuck. My eating was off on leg day, so it kind of fucked me up. But carried on. Managed to actually get a very good session with Ishmael. We both managed to hit big PRs. This was a PR for me, actually. But it did feel ridiculously heavy. So, as you can see, I am fucking dying when I'm doing this, but it's a lot better. It's a lot better than normal squat. I feel a lot better. Right, next on to RDLs. Barbell RDLs. My favourite hamstring movement and glute movement. So, we start off with 60 kilo and we slowly add weight each time. So it's just gonna go up to, so we start on 60 to 100, and we managed to go to 140 today for the top set. It was, we do, pardon me, we've done one top set, which was, it was six to eight again. And here you can see, here's 140. Pretty good set of eight here. Last, last rep was a bit fucking dire, but I managed to get that anyway. Um, with these, you want to drive with the hips, hips back keep your knees semi-locked you don't want them fully locked but slight bend to them and drive with the hips use your hip, your hands as hooks you don't want to pull that weight with your hands because that's just all forearm try and like minimize your lower back in this movement because it is going to play a big part in it but try and aim try and feel your hamstrings while you're doing it that's all i can say so next thing leg press close stance leg press we started on i think that's four plates on each side and this was just, um, we done three sets on this. So it's just the first set was a normal set, um, slightly heavy, I think it was eight to 10. Yeah, eight to 10. And then after that, we do a rest pause set. So the rest pause is where you'll do, say 10 reps, you wait 10 seconds or five seconds, 10 reps again, and then wait 10 seconds or five seconds and then reps again. So you can see I'm doing that now. We dropped the weight slightly to get slightly more reps because if we'd done that, it giant would have killed us <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to get the reps we needed. With this, I put my, I put my feet out and heels in. Uh, that's just to help my knees because if your knees are straight forward, you're going to get some pain slightly. I tend to get pain. A lot of people I know tend to get pain when they do that. Um, yeah, so rep it out. Ishmael's counting down. He'll tell me when to rep, when to pause. But the blood flow in these is fucking ridiculous. Like, I got up and I could barely feel my quads. 
It was just that pump that could barely straighten my leg. But it's absolutely unbelievable. I, I guarantee if you try this, you'll get an amazing pump and you'll feel it unreal. So next movement is hamstring curls on the machine, seated hamstring curls. These are amazing. I feel these directly on my hamstring. It's how you do them. So I put the seat all the way up so my, I'm kind of sitting perfectly upright. And with this, you want to put your, your toes up to the sky and drive with your heels back and picture you're scraping chewing gum off the heel of your foot. If you know what I'm saying, you can see. Watch me drive my heels when they come up. Now, I drive and I squeeze for a second or two at the top. And Ishmael's telling me, keep going, keep going, keep going. That is the importance of a training partner. You need that. You need that. And I'm going to, I'd say we're going to failure here. Nearly failure. Could have got, maybe got a few more. Now with the quad extensions, we've only done two sets of the hamstring curls and two sets of the quad extensions. These are just kind of finish off the quads, finish off the hamstrings and get some more kind of blood in there. More blood, more nutrients, more growth. The main thing is you don't want to overdo it, but in reality, you most likely won't overdo it. With these, you want to squeeze the quads because you can hear these people say, oh, you you hurt your knees, you do this, you do that. If you do it properly, I guarantee you won't hurt yourself. Take time to get the form down. That's all I can say. Too many people jump into things and hurt themselves. With this, take your time. And as you can see, I get people saying, oh, James got small calves. I fucking know I've got small calf, but I do train them. I train them three or four times a week. May not look like it, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I train them, I do 20 sets a week. 20 sets a week. But with calves, you want to go heavier. You want to go slightly heavier than normal because they're a muscle, the, the muscle group that you use every single day when you're walking, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're walking around. So they'll respond with heavy weight, low, heavy weight, low reps. Squeeze the calves. I can't, I can't emphasize enough. You want to squeeze and stretch the calves fully. Get the full range of motion and you will see growth. No matter what, I've seen growth in my calves. Might not look like it, but I have. They've grew maybe inch and a half in the past seven months. Whether that be down to diet, supplement, drug use, stuff like that, they are still fucking growing and I am training hard. No matter what, I train hard. No one outworks me, that's what I'm saying. But the important thing is train to your max and you'll grow. Go to failure. Don't be scared, but don't do five sets of five. Five, five sets of failure, that will just fucking kill you. But I'm just going to play some physique stuff here right now and we'll see what happens. And you can tell me if I'm looking all right, I feel like I'm looking alright, I'm 192 pounds, 192 pounds, yep, that was this morning's weight, so I'm the heaviest I've ever been, but I'm also pretty lean for this weight, so I'm going to wrap this up here, thank you guys, um, I'm going to put an outro clip, thank you, thanks for listening. Right, that's the leg day done. Um, next video to look forward to is going to be full day of eating. It's going to be pretty much talking through my meals, my daily routine, why I eat what I eat, and my macros, calorie split, stuff like that. Everything you need to know to know about what I do. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more sessions like this where I do a voiceover and explain everything I do. And I've seen me get quite a lot of feedback when I put my sessions online. Um, they're not the best, but they definitely work. I've helped people grow, I've helped people cut down, I've helped a lot of people, I've helped Ishmael, my training partner, one of my best mates now, he's looking fucking phenomenal, so keep an eye out for him, I think he's going to start YouTube soon, so when he does, I'll put his link in my video, and I'll explain, I'm pretty sure he's going to do the exact same as me, talk through his training and stuff like that, basic stuff, yeah, anyway, thank you for listening, and I'll be back to hearing from you guys.